Hey there, brochacharinos and brochacharinas, how's it going? Bad office. Welcome guys into today's video, which is basically talking about uh, TSM, how to craft you, with your profession automatically, how to easily in couple steps do your profession groups, make operation for crafting and all that stuff. And today's video coming in from your questions uh, on the previous one, and it actually complements this video because I was talking about what to craft with things that you're farming. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to make groups and everything. So, uh... Love you, I mean, yeah, GMT Music GR, by the way, thank you for the suggestion, don't, don't you think, guys, that I don't listen to your suggestions, you know, he said, try to make yourself a concept of your videos, uh, put the things that you want to talk on paper, and stuff, I actually took a paper, not pen, but pencils, so, uh, hopefully you will not mind that, but yeah, that's basically about that, a guide would be nice, uh, your TSM DB string, so basically all those questions that you're asking me here about TSM are answered already, into the TSM Mastery Complete Tutorial, which is covering everything basically. Installing, groups, operations, create, import, custom price sources, auto pricing, all of that stuff, except for crafting this, uh, you know, this tutorial covers everything. Well, this video will be about that and how you can start with TSM crafting. Now, guys, without further ado, thank you to all the D-Holmes, uh, D-Holmes, Glitteral, Maskinator, GMT and stuff. Guys, thank you for asking, thank you for the feedback and thank you for being part of uh, active part of the community. Now, uh, let's begin with the video. First, you're gonna ask uh, ask yourself, what do I do? Like, how do I start with the crafting and stuff? Guys, I would say, uh, I mean, I would highly suggest you to watch the guy that I just uh, shown you on the video. You're gonna find the link in the description. It, it explains everything up to the point where we are in today's video. So it will not take that much time. Just watch it. it will, uh, you know, it will clear things up for you a lot more. So. Uh, when you have, when you are starting here, hopefully you know like wh what TSM is already, how to install it, you have it installed now, slash TSM will open up this interface, uh, I'm gonna go and make myself a new profile, it will just a dummy profile, I just call it dummy actually, uh, I'm gonna make a dummy profile and uh, you should have a profession right on your char. Now, if you have a profession and you have the professions module installed from TSM, this is how your profession would look like. Now, when you go to your profession, I mean, when you open up your profile now, you'll see that my profile is empty. There is nothing inside. There is no groups. There are no operations or anything. So we're going to start with the scratch, right? Uh, let's make profession uh, groups. How to do that? You just click here TSM groups and uh, create profession, create profession groups, right? So when you go over to your to your groups now, you'll see that blacksmithing is already done. You have crafts and materials. Now, uh, when you create this stuff, uh, make sure to check out if you have, like these are the things that you can all craft with uh, with blacksmithing, right? These are the things. Now, you can go and select some stuff that you do not want to be in this pro uh, uh, group, right? How you can do that is just, you know, click on stuffs like this white things you don't want to craft like maybe this you want but you know i i usually don't so just select some some things that you think that you will never be able to craft for profit like these white things you know sometimes they will be like sixty thousand gold on auction and uh, uh you know your tsm will say okay this is profitable for you apparently it's like a gray stuff or blue, uh, or white stuff or whatever uh i would suggest you to select some things that you thing that you do want, not want to make mistake with. So just go around, uh, look through the items, and when you select all the things that you want to de uh, delete, you just click remove and they will be removed from the group. Or you can just add them to another group, like you can go uh, uh, like this, crafts, and then go operation, oh, sorry, go crafts, and then go management, and then go new subgroup name, trash. Let's just call it trash, right? When you go to crafts, these are the items that I have in my inventory, more or less, right? So all these stuffs I have in my inventory. Now, if you go to this group that is subgroup of this group, it will tell you also the item that you can craft in this group. So that's that's the easiest way of, of, of selecting some things if you want to put them into subgroups. So you go here and you just select, for example, these two things that I don't want to craft. I don't want to craft, I don't know, like this, that, I don't know, like whatever. Major oil is not. Uh, so add. I would suggest you to clear up the bags before you do this because it will pop up the items from your bags here and you might get confused what is from my bags, what is from the TSM. However, this is how you make your profession group, right? You select the things that you want. Now, if you go here to TSM groups and you want to restock the selected groups, you cannot restock them, you know, you cannot see which items are profitable for you. Why is that? Because you're missing a crafting operation. So how you can do that stuff? You go into operations, you go into crafting, right? Operations, crafting, and then you, you I don't know, craft, all right so the, the whole 
for the start we're gonna start with uh, crafting everything that you have from a profession but later on I'm gonna tell you how to filter out things that you know you want to craft as three uh, quantity or five quantity so we're going to start with minimum restock and maximum restock one uh, for this example but uh, I cannot really get away without explaining this field because it's really important for later now minimum restock quantity it explains a tool which is kind of confusing I will tell you what it means uh, it means uh, for example uh, how many items it will take minimum to start crafting of that like for example I want to make a potion of treasure finding but uh, it has like five different types of items that I need to buy and f buying all those items for one for crafting one it's not worth so it will only restock a uh, potion of treasure finding if I'm missing five for example so I set this maximum restock quantity to 10 which means that it will always craft 10 you know for my inventory so if I have 6 in the inventory but this is set to 10 it will always uh, add uh, 4 more to craft however if I set this to 5 and I have 6 it will uh, it will need to make 4 it will not make 4 because the minimum restock quantity limits that to you know craft minimum 5 or don't craft at all so that's what this means you know minimum restock quantity is how many it will craft minimum and maximum restock quantity is how much it will craft basically how much you want to have at all times right so that's that those are the fields now you have a lot of ways how you can do this uh, restocking quantity things because for some things you don't want to craft like five items for some things you want to craft 15 for example bags I want to craft 15 bags but I don't want to make 15 robes of something for transmog right because it will never sell so how you can do that you need to uh, you know uh, as you remember uh, with the trash that was intentional example uh, to tell you how to select stuff now same that you did for trash you want to make uh, you know crafts and you want to make another subgroup and go and make it uh, multiply three oops uh, that was kind of mistake uh, multiply three and then you make another one uh, multiply five or something I just you know like just make yourself let's just say I want to craft some some of uh, three so I want to make skeleton ring uh, let's just go here I want to make skeleton ring and what else just find some some small items right like thermal thermal anvil skeleton key I don't know like these three items I want to craft 10 you know I don't want to craft them by one because you know it's they're not transmog and they sell in a lot bigger quantity so what I need to do here is just go uh, the craft all operation go and duplicate it and just you can select here this oops uh, duplicate operation and set, set here 10 right I'm gonna rename this into multiplied by 1 okay uh, and what I need to do here it's 10 and you know since it's simple I'm gonna set this to 1 so if, if even if I have like 9 in my bags and I want to you know restock to 10 it will still craft uh, you know that one because it only requires like one item to be crafted it's not really hard so that's basically what, what you can do with this now let's go and uh, return this back to 1 uh, for the sake of the example here and I will also do this and well, let's move on when you come to this point uh, you you're asking yourself how do I select the profit like how do I select which one will be crafted which one will be doesn't well this will uh, this is the magic field here guys uh, now in this field you can use you know as minimum profit you can use like hard-coded gold value and this will tell your professions or to your TSM whenever I click restock button if the item doesn't uh, give me at least 500 gold for the crafting I will never craft it you know so basically it selects uh, on a hard-coded gold value which is 500 gold like this right but there is a smarter option uh, that I use mostly for my uh, crafting uh, you know extravaganzas uh, it's called max and uh, if you watched my t previous video about uh, pricing sources and TSM strings and stuff which I suggest you to watch uh, you go I, I mean what max does is whatever you put into this parenthesis like whatever you put like X x y it will take the maximum value and that will be the value that minimum profit will be so for example uh, let's let's use here uh, i want to I, I i want to never craft item if it's lower than 300 gold in profit you know so if i invest like even 100 gold i expect that item to give me 400 gold so basically it's always 300 gold profit right so let's say that i will never craft items if, if it gives me below 300 gold but also I would add a smart uh, you know smart pricing called crafting like what crafting is it's it uh, calculates how much the item it's uh, worth craft like the crafting cost you know like for example you want to make saronite dirk and that uh, saronite dirk uh, costs material costs 1000 gold well that 1000 gold is what crafting is right so basically if I say crafting here and 
let's say that I want to uh, let's say that I want to um, earn. 50% of the crafting. So if I want to craft something, I want to take at least 50% of whatever I invest into it. So I want to make Saronite Dirk. If I invest 1000 gold, I want to earn at least 500 gold from the Dirk. How you can do that? It's by setting 50% of crafting, right? Now, uh, why I've put this into a max parenthesis here? This is, uh, I, I mean, I could have skipped this step and not explain you, but this is really important because Max, what we'll do is, for example, uh, I am uh, crafting some item that give, gives me uh, 100 gold. Uh, you know, 50% of the crafting is 100 gold. You know, the, the item is 200 gold in crafting cost. Uh, I craft the, the item and it sells on auction house for 300 gold. That means 100 gold I'm going to earn from that. However, I don't want to earn ever 300 gold, uh, you know, or, or less from crafting anything. So this is uh, basically a safety mechanic that says... Uh, that says, you know, uh, okay, if your crafting cost is 100 gold, but I don't want to uh, craft uh, 300 gold, it will still take the maximum value of this bracket and it will use it as a minimum profit value. The last section of this operation I want to explain really, uh, really quickly, which is this price settings override stuff. This means basically what price uh, it will take when it considers like the crafting and uh, the prices for the materials for the crafting cost for everything basically what will be the string that will be used for price settings now there is a general option for this you can set from options uh, crafting and you can set the things here default price settings default craft value method blah 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 so you can take mine here for example but you can also take you know use whatever you want uh, this uh, first, uh, I will just briefly explain, means uh, it will take the first value of the bracket here, inside of the brackets or inside parentheses, whatever this is uh, called. Uh, so it will take the first price, the minimum, minimum buyout, which means uh, if there is something on Auction House right now, what is the minimum price of that item on Auction House right now? But if there is nothing on Auction House, this will be invalid and it will go to the next one. So this is like a safety mechanic. If there is none on Auction House, it will st t still take some value. Now, Umrin string is something I've made a long time ago. Uh, I've explained in the TSM string, uh, price sources value, uh, price sources video. So you can go and you can uh, take, take out mine from here. You can, I don't know, like I can give it in the description as well if you want me. Uh, and uh, this is what it does, right? So you go into the crafting and it just calculates a price based on historical value and stuff like that. Now, why is this relevant to the operation here? Because this last section is the same stuff as what I explained so far. You know, what we'll use for pricing. You can override the settings you have in the options for this particular operation if you want to. But I don't really tend to do that. So it's probably best to just set the things up from here instead of setting up for individual uh, operations. Unless you have a reason for something like that, you know. Now, you've made all these things and uh, you've made the operation and you're wondering yourself, like, wait, I open my blacksmithing out to TSM group and it's still empty. Now, how you can actually restock this stuff? Well, you need to apply the operation to the group first, right? So we need to go to the group and go into tra uh, crafts. And since we made all the operations and stuff, you can just go into the crafting section here, into operations, crafting, override model operation, and you can craft all, for example. You can add uh, to the crafts. Now, you can go to here, go and apply the other operation, which is craft 10, right? So you see, it takes the parent, if you don't change anything, it, take, it takes the parent uh, operation. It will craft one of these as well, unless you apply the other operation. And you apply it here as well, onto the other one we've made. And now when you go to restock, I mean, when you open up your profession, there will be, there will be crafting stuff. Now, I want to tell you another way of uh, adding this stuff to the, I mean, adding the operation to the group. You can go to the crafting, find the operation, craft all, and go to management, like remove all, right? Uh, and you go here and you go apply operation to group. Now you can apply here crafts, uh, this this one to crafts. And you go here, you go to management and you can see it's applied. You can do the same stuff what you have. Now since everything is applied, we've done the operation, we've done the settings, everything we know and stuff. Now how we do the restocking, you might ask yourself. You go into TSM groups here and just clear the queue. I have some random queue from before. Uh, restock selected group and it will restock everything that is matching our filters. So basically 500 gold profit or more and stuff like that. So we need to invest here. We need to invest 1 million gold, 1 million point zero nine. So basically, yeah, that's basically the, the cost of everything. And we're going to get pure profit out of this uh, 1.8 million. This is uh, on top. So basically we're going to make like total of 2.8 million, you know, uh, this together with the cost. But 
pure profit after we sell everything pure profit will we cover all the costs and everything will be 1.8 so this is even if this is you've made uh, let's say 100 uh, i mean 1 million estimated cost estimated profit is 500,000 for some people it's still worth because you're investing 1 million to get 500,000 pure gold so that is the return but for some people might not be that much i don't know depends sometimes i'm crafting those stuff sometimes i'm not depends on the profession stuff but it is for you to judge you know whether it is will be profitable for for you or not so that is how the restocking uh, goes now this is the shopping list that you need to uh, you know of all the materials you need to buy in order to craft everything that you need to craft here right so these are all the things you need to uh, i'm gonna briefly explain this need means how many of those materials you need to craft you know some of the items here so the field total means uh, how many you need total uh, of, of the item so basically I need here 24 and as you can see I have 27 in the bank and that means that uh, you know zero I need right now but 24 I need total for the shopping uh, for the shopping list basically so this includes everything guild banks uh, alts bank and all that stuff but if you want you can filter out some things if you go like in options and crafting you can inventory settings you can set up some of this you know to be ignored like you can select some you can select guild banks to be ignored if you want to like in some of these guild bank banks you're not uh, owner or officer and it still considers uh, as the, the items you have well you can set these guild banks to uh, to be ignored or your alts some of the alts to be ignored as well and uh, that's basically how you can set up your shopping list now when you buy all the things here when all of this need it's to zero you can basically craft all of those stuffs but as soon as you uh you know as soon as you buy some of these items to be uh able to craft one of this uh, this craft next will be white and you can craft at least one item right when you have like uh enough materials combined to craft one item so that's basically what the crafting means there is another option of uh buying these things from auction house called gather and it's a bit more complicated it's uh, i don't want to include into this video because this video will be long enough uh, already but uh, i will probably include this in another video if you want me to you can just uh, you know let me know down in the comments below and i will select some of the you know some of the comments and make probably a guide about this gathering as well it's some convenient stuff that it will go on auction house uh, it will go to vendor and buy stuffs for you i mean it will tell you go to that vendor you know buy things and stuff like that but i will not really go into that now anyway guys thank you all guys for watching this video thank you for being active part of the community suggesting me all these stuffs giving me the opportunity to make you uh, make all these awesome guides for you because you've suggested them to you and i would really like to see what you're gonna suggest me for the next one and adopt uh, some of your ideas and make video about it uh, but meanwhile guys thank you all for being su a great support in the past period of time thank you to all the patreons that uh, are supporting the channel with some financial help and stuff and uh, until the next time guys make sure to like the video comment your opinion comment your idea below some of your ideas might be featured in the next video uh, i will answer in some from some of the comments in the next video as well and uh, yeah that's all guys for this one thank you again but office see you in the next one stay cool make sure to subscribe for the next one and until the next time i've been Owen forever bro listen to your parents and woman and off